Today I'm working in mixed media. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again. Um, I began this piece with a Faber-Castell um, pencil using 6B lead, nice and soft. A Faber-Castell pit, artist pen, medium for lining. I did my initial line work with this glass pen, uh, a real joy to use. Um, I used a secret, well, I say I used, I haven't done it yet. This first part of the re recording was done before the drawing was finished and I have a secret uh, tool that I use to finish it. I also used some pencils because it didn't quite go how I expected. So I used some uh, Caran d'Ache coloured pencils. Uh, the This drawing that I showed you at the beginning isn't the completed drawing. I am doing an experiment. I'm getting some people involved in this. So I don't know if it's going to work. I will find out in about a week's time. But it is in this video. So if you watch the video till the end, you will see um, how it turns out. So anyway, I began with a, a light sketch straight out of my head. I'm doing the Tree of Life. <clears throat> if you know, uh, or have been watching my channel for uh, months, you know, probably about a year, uh, maybe less than that, you will know uh, I've got a grandson who was born prematurely and we had a bit of a rough time. I did a lot of my initial videos uh, from an the side of an hospital bed in children in a children's hospital uh and he was really critical uh this uh, my young grandson he was really poorly he's had tubes coming out of his head for five months he caught meningitis he's had a real rough time anyway the good news is it's his birthday next week he has made it to one year old and he's now doing great so i am doing this tree of life to celebrate his first year and I'm doing it in natural medium or natural media because um, I, I, I want to get people involved in this, which you will see hopefully at the end of the video. So I'm really excited. I intended this to be a pen and ink and a wash drawing. It didn't turn out quite like that. So let's uh, see what happened. I did this initial sketch straight off uh, the top of my, well, it wasn't straight off the top of my head. I actually uh, spent about five minutes Googling trees of life. I then put my um, iPad away and I just, I got an idea and I just started drawing. I sketched it out in pencil to make sure I got it in the middle of the paper. And then I began with the outline and then I started sort of etching it in to um, add the sort of bark effect to this trees and, and alter the roots. And the plan was that um, I was going to put a sepia wash over it to um, just add a little bit of, of colour. And everything was going great. Um, I'm working on a vertical easel. I'm using watercolour paper. Um, real nice it's one of the nicest uh, papers I've used for a long time it's on a block uh, it doesn't budge off the block at all it, in fact it's quite difficult to get it off the block at the end doesn't stretch a really nice paper to use uh, I'll put uh, some text on the screen saying what the paper is because um, I can't can't remember off the top of my head I've only it's it's new to me but I'm very impressed with it and I'll definitely be getting some more so I continue with this glass pen um etching away with that and just sort of drawing and my daughter was here actually she I said why don't you bring Killian that's my grandson's name bring him over and we can have a cup of tea and you can check the progress of the drawing, see if you like it and uh, we'll take it from there. And hopefully everything will be fab and groovy and everyone will be happy. So at this point, 
uh, very happy with the process. It took me quite a while to ink this in. Uh, I spent pretty much the best part of a day, well, not a day, maybe uh, four or five hours. So a good chunk of the day. It was all I did art-wise on this particular day. And um, I was drawing it in. And I'm getting pretty close to finishing it off. I just put a few twigs. Uh, I've only put a few twigs in because uh, we've got to put the leaves in yet. And that is part of the secret process that we're going to use. So after that, I then lay the um, easel down flat to get the wash in. But... <laughs> Total disaster. I used the wrong ink. So when I tried to put the wash on, the ink just run and smudged. And um, I got this sort of grey black mess. My daughter, I could see on her face, she wasn't too happy. So I had to come up with a solution, PDQ. And the solution was the coloured pencils. Uh, these were bought uh, for me as a present a while back. I've not used them a lot. I've done a few pencil drawings, but not a massive amount. So I thought, right, okay, let's get them out and give it a go and see if I can um, solve or re resolve this drawing because I've put so much time into it. If it had been in watercolour, I'd have probably just started again, but I'd put a lot of time into the drawing and I really love the shapes of the branches and the twigs and everything. I thought, I bet if I do it again, I won't get it as nice as this. And I won't be as happy with it. So I, I um, just worked with a pencil and added layer on layer on layer of colours. I picked a palette of sort of greens, creams, reddies and reds and browns. And um, I left some grey of the ink where it had like smudged. I also had to go, this is where the Faber-Castell ink, ink pen came in because I had to go around it again with the outline because all of the ink just run. So um, I was much happier with the pencil and I really like it. I uh, sent my daughter a, a photo of it and said, um, is this okay? Are you happy with that? She said, absolutely love it, Dad. Love it to bits. She came around to see me this morning. I did a little bit of babysitting, which is a bit unusual for me because I'm not kind of into all that stuff. But I did and I loved it. It was great. I had a little play around with Killian and we took a few photos and stuff. And she uh, looked and she says, Dad, it's absolutely fantastic. I love it. And so this is going to be on an easel at his birthday and we're going to finish it there. So I'll see you in a bit. So here we are at the morning of the party. And this is part of the secret ingredient. These are coloured dyes. And the idea is everybody that comes to the party puts their thumb in a colour. They choose a colour or a couple of colours. Press their thumb in there and then make a stamp on the tree for the leaf. And so we know who has um, put the fingerprints on the tree. They get to sign the card as well. And we're all about ready. We're setting up the music. And you can see the neighbour's kitten is there helping us set the music up. And we are all ready to go. All I've got to do now is get changed and uh, turn up to the party. So I've just arrived. Some people have already started to put their fingerprints on the painting and uh, I'm going to video a few others. So let's do this. Here's, here's Kelly's mummy. She's doing the stamp. She's going to do a full five finger stamp. That's the colour I want. So look at your fingers. That's what we're talking about. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, is there? Yeah. yeah. Danny's going to do a five finger stamp. Danny is the dad. 
the daddy of Killian. That was a runny ink. Here we go. Where am I going? Charlotte, where am I going? Over here. Up high. Oh, yeah. Now it's taking shape. <laughs> Loving it. Yeah. Yeah. My dad's yeah, yeah, so it's going to be such a beautiful addition to the Go show. for it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> cool, mate. Here we go. We're having, a, we're having a love art for Killy. Look at this. Yeah. It's a chef. Selfies! <laughs> We're doing selfies! Move your phone out of the room! <laughs> this is Joe, he, it's all getting a bit crazy, he's already been stamped his forehead, but he's gonna make. There we go. He's contributing to the art! Loving it! So that's the end of the video, making Killian's Tree of Life, uh, a brave little knight that he is. Really enjoyed doing this. The secret ingredient was obviously um, those inks and lots of love from everybody that was there. We had an absolutely fantastic day. Charlotte said it was the best day of her life. Uh, it wasn't far behind for me either. I, I totally loved it. Um, I hope you don't mind me showing this very personal piece of work with you guys. Um, it meant a lot to me and I wanted you to see it. So... Um, if you've enjoyed this video, big thumbs up as always, much appreciated, helps the channel out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos and none of them are like this. They're all about digital painting. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.